Barista Sophia Amadu Boshi has been installed and presented staff of office as first class chief of Takum by Governor Agbu Kefas of Taraba State. The presentation of staff of office took place on Monday at the Exco Chamber Government House, Dalingo, alongside two other third class chiefs. Speaking at Esco Chamber Government House, Jalingo, where the event took place, Governor Kefas observed that for nearly three decades, the vacant throne of Takum has been a symbol of division and uncertainty, expressing hope that the new development will usher in the dawn of a new era in Tukum. Our correspondent Jude Nuhu Gundale uh, sends this, this report that is presented from our studio. The 28 years kingship tussle of the stool of paramount ruler of Takum may be over following the presentation of staff of office to barrister Sophia Amadu Bushi. Speaking at the event, Governor Kefas noted that in recognition of the need for inclusivity and fairness in providing good governance made his administration to take a bold step in addressing the long-time issue of the throne. According to him, through wide consultation and careful deliberation, his administration has established three third-class thrones in Takum, each representing the ruling houses of the area, Banzo, Kuteb and Chamber, as well as a rotational chief of Takum. Recognizing the need for, the, for inclusivity and fairness in providing good governance, my administration has taken decisive steps to address this long-standing issue on the throne of Takum. Through careful deliberation and wide consultations, we have established three third class chiefs in Takum, each representing the esteemed ruling houses of Takum Kwanzu, Takum Kuteb, and Takum Chamba. Additionally, a rotational first class tool as chief of Takum has been enshrined into law by the Taraba State House of Assembly. The governor urged the people to embrace the principles of reconciliation, forgiveness, and inclusivity. While he celebrated the positive response of two of the ruling houses in Takum, the governor acknowledged the legal recourse pursued by one of the ruling houses. Dr. Kefas said his administration remains steadfast in its commitment to increase dialogue and further consultation, recognizing the importance of the rule of law in resolving disputes and ensuring a peaceful and sustainable transition of leadership. The governor then announced the launch of an endowment fund for the rebuilding of Takum and other areas affected by the crisis. As we embark on this transformative journey, let us embrace the principles of reconciliation, forgiveness, and inclusivity. In tandem with our dedication to traditional leadership and rebuilding of Takum for posterity, I am delighted to announce the launch of an endowment fund for the development of Takum and other areas impacted by conflict in Taraba State. The first class chief of Takum, His Royal Highness, Barrister Supia Amadu Bushi, who responded on behalf of others, thanked the governor for the bold step in resolving the chieftaincy dispute of Takum and pledged to justify the confidence reposed in him. You are all aware that it has taken almost 26 to 27 years now there is no king in Takum, but he has done it this time. <laughs> His Excellency, the effort you have taken to solve this tendency issue in Takum, I will beg of you to take the same effort to resolve all any other crisis in Taraba State as a whole. With this singular venture, I believe Taraba State is in for a progress. The third class chiefs, Sohon Takum, His Royal Highness, Ephraim Bala, and the Ku Gababi Chiefdom, His Royal Highness, Suleiman Umar Salihu, were also presented, were also presented with the staff of the office. 
the state chief judge, Justice Philippus Joel Agia, administered the oath of office and that of allegiance to the royal fathers. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.